lovely friends welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today's video is especially for all my beginner friends who wanted to do palette knife painting trust me friends this is my second palette knife painting and this is how beautiful it looks it is literally so easy to make just by using two to three palette knives and the heavy body acrylic color is literally like butter. I just love this medium and I think I'm going to make more of these beautiful palette knife paintings. It literally takes so less time and the paintings look so beautiful, uplifted. It gives a bright, bright look just because of the heavy body acrylic color. So friends, do watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notified for each time I post a new video. So let's quickly check out the materials now friends. For materials, we're going to use the best quality of acrylic paint available. So that is the Camel Artist Acrylic Colors. So this one here is the medium body acrylic paint which is Camel Artist Acrylic Paint set of 12 shades. And this one you see here is the Camel Artist Heavy Body Acrylic Paint. In the beginning, I bought the set of 6 which was enough. But now I have also bought few more colors like light violet, medium magenta, red, cardamom yellow color and two extra white color tubes because we are going to use a lot of white in this painting. And other than that, you are also going to need this kind of cone liner. These are Camel Fabrica cone liners which comes in this kind of tube and it has a nozzle like this and you can easily make or draw leaves or stems or grass using this one. You get different shades of this acrylic tube. So this is very helpful. Next, you're going to need palette knives. So there are so many different shapes and sizes of palette knives. And for this painting, we're just going to need these three. The first one is 1018. They come in number. The next one is 1002 HS. And the next one is just number 7. For the base, we're going to use a canvas board. And this time, I'm going to use a 10 into 8 inch canvas board. So each time, friends, I will mention all the links with their exact numbers and all the details so that you can buy all these materials online. So let's start now, friends. First of all, I'm going to use the cobalt blue. Vibrant hue color deep magenta permanent rose and white all around I also need pink so I'll place pink the simple trick is I'm going to use a sponge and dab 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 the colors and spread them using sponge I'm going to add a little bit more of green here. I would really like to spread it in this way. Wash your sponge and then start dabbing these colors. I'm going to use deep magenta and pink.
now using a sponge I'm just tabbing white color on the center base so this creates a different effect which which makes the painting look quite dreamy and that is what I want to do to make it look dreamy using just a little bit of yellow so this is a lemon yellow Now this is how I wanted my base to be. So this is my palette. It's actually a glass sheet and I'm going to use a cobalt blue here. Just a little bit is enough. Warmelin hue. And I think having sap green will be really good. And I'm going to use my brush number 1002. This is how you have to use the color. Spread the color in this way. Take a little bit in your palette then take some color in the next direction and something from the bottom i have got some color and lay it in this way i like to lay the blue first because this is darker and i definitely want it to get scraped by other colors now we'll take sap green Now friends, I have finally completed making my background and few leaves here. I'm again going to take the green color in my palette, just a little bit and also a little bit of sap green. And here I have my green cone liner. This is 240 light green. Using a number one hairbrush, I'm going to make a few lines, draw a few lines. And now I'm also going to use my cone liner and make the simple, create the simple lines. I think this much is enough for now. I'm also going to make few lines on the top here. Now let it get dry for a few seconds till that I'm going to prepare the heavy body colors. Now friends I'm going to use artist acrylic heavy body color. I'm using titanium white first of all. I'll take it in my palette in this way. And I'm going to use the smallest knife 1018 number. Using this knife you have to first of all spread the color in this way. I like to spread it in two directions because I use it in two directions okay so now I have spread my colors in two directions you can see here I'll clean my knife in this way and then you can see that there is a V kind of edge so we'll take colors scrape color in this way from one side then scrape the color from next side you're ready with a lot of color in your palette knife here you can see then simply place it i think i need to take some more yeah the more amount of color you have in your 
palette knife, the more volume you'll get in your reef. If you're not comfortable with the direction of your painting, you can also change and make it as comfortable you are in placing the colors. Now I'm going to add some a red color in my palette here and just a little bit of a medium magenta here and then a lot of white. I will again start scraping off the color and then start placing it. It's just a very simple process of placing colors. So this is how you have to make plain white color flowers. Now I'm going to mix some colors. So here I'm having a lot of white. Smooth the sides, scrape out the color you need. And now I'll add just a little bit of like pink or red, whatever you want to add in your flower petal. And this is where I want my next flower to be. Just easily take some color and then take some other color you want to place. This flower just came so lovely. Like more of white. Each time I like to take fresh color because I don't want the color to get thick. If you notice, for the upper flowers, I take a complete long stroke and for the lower flowers, I just take a small stroke using the same palette knife. And this is how you can create the shape of a flower. I need some more of pink. Perfect. I just love the way how it looks. I'm simply tilting my painting to take some more space over here. Okay, so I personally think uh, this is how it should look and I just love the way I have composed the flowers just giving it a depth from this side and uplifting from both the sides. So now I'm going to cover up few space by making small small tiny tiny flowers and I'm going to use a red, white, medium magenta and I just loved the color light violet we have got. So I'm also going to use the light violet color and my favorite we don't have the deep magenta shade in heavy body acrylic color I don't have so let's use this one so now the step is very simple I just flat the surface take a little bit of white and some other color in my palette knife and just make this pretty flower and this time I'm using a number 5 palette knife. Scrape out just a little bit of color you need. This is how your flower should be, small and beautiful. So here at a time I'm making use of 3 to 4 different colors.
So now friends we have finally completed making all the flowers. Let it get dry for a few minutes and then we can do the center part of the flowers. Now I'm going to use the Brunt Sina color and the same palette knife number 1002 and I'll just take a little bit of the Brunt Sina color in the tip of my palette knife and place it in this way. After that we are going to need orange color as I don't have orange so I'm going to mix cardamom yellow with a little bit of red. This is naphthalene red. Just a little bit of red will be enough. Using palette knife mix both the colors very well and you will get a bright bright orange color. Now using a palette knife gently place it in this way. Just a gentle tint is enough. Now I'm going to use sap green color and viridian hue. And now we'll start making the cover up leaves here. I'm going to change the position because this was not comfortable for me. looks beautiful now now just scrape out just a little bit of color in your palette knife and you can make the stem in this way do the same for all the flowers and finally now we are very close completing our painting so for that I'm going to use a very simple palette knife and cardamom yellow dark color take it in my palette knife directly in this way and place it exactly on the top of the orange as that part is heavily bombarded so there is no exact stroke you need for this part just place a heavy dose of yellow here okay now I also want to make the yellow dot center for this flower so I'm using the smallest palette knife number 1018 and giving that final stroke of touch. And finally, our painting is completed. Here you can see our painting looks absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to add a few finishing touches by making a beautiful butterfly. So here I have taken pink in my palette knife and from this side I'll take a little bit of yellow and I just want to create a very small gentle butterfly take more of pink than yellow I'm trying to make one more here so I'm not comfortable for me take all of yellow a little of my pink. So here we have got two beautiful beautiful butterflies. Let's create the body. I'm simply going to use a black liner and make the body. So I'm going to use my remaining color in this way in my palette. Just touch a little bit in your edge of the brush and make a gentle placement of line. Do the same again. I think it looks very pretty. So finally, this is how beautiful our painting looks. So friends, here we have finally completed doing our palette knife painting and this is how beautiful it looks. I felt to do a little bit of correction in this part so I added some uh, white color and it's still wet so it will look absolutely natural when it gets uh, dry. I cannot believe how beautiful and pretty the flowers and the butterflies have become. I really love using this heavy body acrylic medium and I can say the shine of this medium is just permanent. I'm going to keep it to let it dry for at least two days because as I have done a lot of bombardment of colors, I want it to get dry completely and then after two weeks, I'm going to use my best varnish which is a Liquidex Professional High Gloss Varnish and using this varnish, I'll do two, three layers of varnish on this 
painting so that this painting will be there for everyone. I hope friends you did have fun watching this video and do tell me in the comments below how did you like my videos friends and if you do like my videos please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.